皆さんこんにちは、長丸です。今回はカルダのエイダをあらゆるブロックチェーン、いろんなエコシステムにつなげようと挑戦をしているプロジェクトがあったので、そちらの CEO、ファウンダーの方に英語でインタビューをしてきました。で、このコントロールウォレットの中でカルダのエイダも扱うことができるので、ぜひ気になった方は最後までご覧ください。それではインタビューをどうぞ。Hi, Emil. Thank you so much for joining us today on my YouTube channel. Before we get started, Could you briefly introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here.、Um, I am、um, the CEO and founder of Control Wallets that we've been、um, building for the past five years and a half now, a little bit more.、Uh, my personal background was originally in traditional finance, and then I worked in、uh, different、uh, t y p e of ventures. Um, created a few different startups and ended up working on control wallets,、uh, for the, yeah, for the, for the last five years and a half now. Great. So let's jump right in the interview. First question. Could you start by telling us what control wallets is as a project and what vision you have when signing it? Yeah, absolutely.、Uh, when we created control wallets, Back、uh, in uh, uh, 2020,、um, there were、uh, basically no multi chain wallets extensions. And most of the volume in uh, uh, DeFi was going via web clients. And there was a need for a wallet to cater for uh, uh,、um, the different uh, protocols uh, on plenty of different ecosystems.、Uh, we also believe that it was much easier for people to earn all the assets in one single place instead of. Different、uh, wallets, and we decided to create a、uh, control wallet first as an extension and then as a mobile app. So we were always big believers in、uh, a multi chain era, and we believe that、uh, the right infrastructure was required for this、uh, multi chain era to not、uh, jeopardize the, the, the overall UX of、uh, the users when it comes to interacting with、uh, different interfaces and, and, and doing different stuff on chain. So that, that was the original idea behind、uh, Control Wallet. Interesting. Thank you for sharing that. Second question. In one sentence, how would you describe Control Wallet's unique features compared to other wallets, such as its match chain support and simple field gas management? Yeah. So I would say that first we have seamless wallet creation. Without the need to, un- to understand like, what a seed phrase is, gas abstraction, so being able to interact on chain in any way you want without having to understand what gas is. And third,、um, consolidated portfolio view, so having a, a, an aggregated understanding of what your total crypto balance is. That's definitely a strong point. So, third question You've already supported many different blockchains. What kind of developments are you considering for Cardano in the future? Absolutely. So, we have integrated Cardano. We support ADA, including、uh, as well、uh, the native assets on Cardano. We've been working on supporting directly within the mobile app, so on iOS and Android, the Glacier airdrop from Midnight,、uh, so the Night uh, uh, token、uh, claiming process. We're also supporting it by the extension since we are compatible with the、uh, dashboard. And in the future, we're planning to add like a number of different items within、uh, our suite of products to support Cardano, whether it is uh, uh, using new token as universal gas token to abstract gas further, or、uh, swap and uh, uh, bridging from other e c o s y s t e m into the, the Cardano ecosystem, NFT support, stablecoin support. And uh, uh, probably like long e r term、uh, staking, but also governance. Yeah, this is a good point. That's exciting for the Cardano ecosystem. Fourth question When it comes to joining the Cardano ecosystem, what particular strengths do you think Cardano wallets can bring? So, we are、uh, a multi chain wallet by default. So, we can help bridging Cardano to literally any other ecosystems. And we have half a million、uh, monthly active users, which is,、uh, I think, like a, a strength when it comes to 
helping Cardano acquiring new uh, ecosystem. And on top of that, obviously, we have our experience and knowledge on how to build multi-chain products, which I believe is uh, is also like a, an additional point. Mm, that's a very good contribution. So fifth question. I've heard that you submitted a proposal for Catalyst Fund 40. Could you explain the proposal in a way that our viewers can easily understand? Of course. What we want to achieve via this proposal is to essentially connect Cardano with all the other ecosystems that exist. How can we do that? We can do this because we're already supporting all these ecosystems and Cardano. And now we want to integrate the routes that are going to make it simple to connect and interact with these other ecosystems when you are in Cardano. And we do believe that this is excessively important. It's like ecosystems are like countries. They need to be able to interact between each other and have a trading routes. Right. So this is exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to leverage the technology we've already built to connect all these ecosystems to Cardano and bring on more users, more liquidity, and also more opportunities to the Cardano ecosystem as a whole. Thanks. That's a very clear explanation. Sixth question. Catalyst is just one step. In the longer term, how do you see Control Wallet committing to Cardano? Yeah, absolutely. We also want to become the reference wallet for the Midnight ecosystem. It's uh, very important for us. We are extremely supportive of the idea behind Midnight, which is uh, the, the, the privacy layer that they're trying to build. And we want to be able to essentially contribute to the expansion of this ecosystem by getting into this ecosystem early and obviously support the wider Cardano ecosystem, but also focus on Midnight and bring our strength to the table so we can help this ecosystem expand from the very beginning. And, and, and obviously also contribute to helping the, the, the builders that are going to build on top of this uh, new network. Great. It's a good to hear about uh, your long-term vision. Seventh question. Looking ahead, how do you envision integrating Veda and Cardano Dapp with Control Wallet? Yeah. So there will be different features that we release that will help for people to use uh, ADA and stake it or use ADA and vote for government proposals. But also uh, we will uh, uh, continue to work on establishing relationship with existing dApps, which we've already done, and continue to releasing more integration, which is already on the way. So we start by the biggest one and then like we start to speak with everyone and make sure that like everyone is fully supported. Everyone has an opportunity to um, uh, integrate also our wallet within the interface and so on and so forth. That would definitely improve your uh, improve user experience. Eighth question. In this March chain era, where does Cardano fit within control wallets of our strategy? Yeah, it's very much like uh, our main focus right now. We've been uh, uh, mainly shipping like around Cardano uh, for the last few months and planning on continuing doing so with a uh, uh, focus on midnight going forward. So very much a priority for us. That's make out of sense. So finally, do you have any message you'd like to share with the Japanese Cardano community? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Like, uh, please uh, uh, feel free to share any feedback you have about our wallets. We're here to improve the wallet based on your feedback and uh, how you believe like uh, the best uh, uh, UX can be uh, uh, released and, and we're more than happy to develop on calls and, and you know obviously like uh, understand better like uh, what we can do to uh to improve like the products we are we working on um yeah and domo arigato awesome thank you I, i'm sure the committee will appreciate that yes thank you again for joining us today i really enjoyed that conversation see you next time Thank you so much, uh, Nagamaru. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. いかがでしたでしょうか。あの僕この中で気になった点といえば。
、ミッドナイト、まあ、こちらにコントロールウォレット自体がかなり注目をしているという点であったり、でそして、まあ、この取り組みが進むことによって他のチェーンからカルダノに資金が流入するきっかけになる、まあ、扉になるかもしれないと僕自身思っているので、まあ、このコントロールウォレット、今後も応援していきたいなと思っております。で、そして、ファンド14、えっ、ー、と、カタリストが、えー、今後あると思うんですけど、そちらに、まあ、このコントロールウォレットを、えー、提案出しているそうなので、まあ、ぜひ、えー、応援したいなっていう方は、えー、こちらの提案もご覧ください。それでは、今回のインタビュー、いかがでしたでしょうか、まあ、今後とも、このような海外の方とのインタビュー、どんどんと増やしていこうと思うので、ぜひ、えー、チャンネル登録をどうぞよろしくお願いいたします。で、そしてまた僕、ササーステークプール、ササーステークプール2というステーキングプールも運営しておりますので、僕の活動を応援してくださる方、どうぞご委任もよろしくお願いいたします。で、そしてまた僕、YouTube を、まあ、こうやっていく中で、まあ、実際にその視聴者さんのコメントとか、まあ、いただいたりするんですけど、まあ、このホルダーさんの声がカルダノのエコシステムになかなか届いていないなっていうことを感じるわけですよ。で、まあ、その、この声を実際に届けるような、まあ、あの、提案にイエスノーを入れるような、まあ、Dlep っていう役割があるんですけど、まあ、ありがたくも僕、その Dlep、あの、やらせていただいてるんですけど、まあ、こちらはぜひ僕の理念に共感していただいた方、ご意見いただけますと大変嬉しいです。まあ、最近あの、英語の勉強も結構頑張っているので、まあ、こういうインタビューを増やしていけたらなと思っております。それでは次の動画で会いましょう。